how to use reddit hey guys today i'm going to be showing you how you can get started on reddit and what the social media platform is actually like so let's get into it first off you're gonna go on reddit.com and then you are going to click on sign up now you can either continue with your google account or your apple account or you can add your email and then create your own password so i'm just going to add my details and let's get started now once you have added your personal details you're going to select the communities and topics that you are interested in so whatever kind of things you like i'm just gonna you're just gonna scroll down and then you're going to select whatever kind of stuff you like so these are the top communities and you can see how many members each community has like 71 million members so that's a lot of people and you really want to go with your specific niche anything that you're afraid to discuss publicly with other people you can do it anonymously using reddit so let's join today i learned let's join food let's also join explain like i'm five for entertainment let's join podcasts for fashion let's join streetwear and you don't really have to add for each category i'm just doing it to get a nice uh, kind of general board once i am uh, logged into my account so let's follow tech bitcoin gadgets also let's follow no no yes instant regret and now we are just going to get started that's a lot of stuff that we have taken interest in now over here you can see this is the basic reddit dashboard or the basic reddit feed and uh, according to whatever your interests are and the stuff that you will be liking and rewarding your feed will be customized and tailored to you so you can see i clicked on bitcoin so i'm getting bitcoin news i'm getting streetwear stuff i'm getting more streetwear in news i'm also getting more bitcoin news i also clicked on food as an interest so i'm getting uh, food images so all of these are just the trending topics in the community you can see if you want to search for something like um, let's just say you're watching a show so you want to search and discuss things about that show you are just going to search on r slash let's just say it is naruto that you're wanting to discuss over here you are just going to search over here now you're going to click on communities and users and now you can see the different uh, Naruto related communities that are present. So r slash Naruto obviously is going to be the most popular. Then you also have r slash Don Kuroto. It is a meme subreddit. Then below that you have your manga subreddit for general manga discussions. Who would win? So your imaginary fictional characters, if they had a fight, who would win between them? And you can see all the different kinds of communities that are relating to whatever your search a word is. So you can just join them or just take a look so before joining you can actually take a look at the community and what is actually happening right now just click on it and then you can see the most recent upvoted posts so how reddit functions is that on the left you can see this is a up and a down arrow so if you click on the up arrow it's basically a like or if you click on the down it's basically a dislike and the more upvotes so the terminologies used on reddit are upvotes and downvotes the higher amount of upvotes a post gets uh, the more likely it is to show up in other people's feeds and it will be uh, drawn up on the search results it will be appearing on the top of the community's results and it's basically like the system of any other kind of social media platform and another great function on reddit is a rewarding so other than just liking or disliking you can actually award stuff if you click on award over here you can purchase reddit gold and different kinds of reddit stickers and stuff that is uh, available usually people like to just call it reddit gold and you can send it as a gift to the creator you will have to purchase this and you can either send it anonymously or make it a public gift now on the general side of reddit you can see on the top you have your search engine and just beside that you have your popular so if you click on that whatever are the trending topics on in the world right now whatever are the highest trending posts on reddit right now will be available over here so you can see if, although this post was only made four hours ago it already had 27.3 thousand upvotes so that's why it's on the trending page or the most popular page whatever you might want to call it 
and you can see over here there is a variety of content on this page and beside that you have all so in general you can just view all of the hot stuff new stuff or top rated stuff beside that you have reddit live so reddit does provide a platform for live streaming and you can view any kind of person's live stream depending on your interest whatever they are doing and you might just join a random live stream just to check out how it looks or how it goes after that you have your messaging and inboxing this is your chat so all of your chats will be over here you have your notifications and here you can actually create a post so this is the default username that reddit just suggested and put for me and i can either change it or keep it i'm just gonna change it so you will have to make a unique username so let's just say jane doe the greatest and now you're gonna continue and you're going to save your new username now you can uh, select the community you want your post to be made in and you can only make posts in communities that you are a member of so as you saw on the start i joined today i learned technology streetwear r slash podcasts no 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 yes instant regret gadgets so i can only post stuff in these communities uh, i cannot post stuff in communities that i am not a member of so let's just post on r slash instant regret so if you take a look at r slash whatever usually it's called a subreddit so this is the terminology used and on the rules of this subreddit you can only upload images or links so it needs to be like a video it's more of a uh, visual subreddit next up if we take a look at r slash bitcoin over here you can obviously make text posts images or links you can do all three and once you add a title and whatever is your post, you can save it as a draft or update it as a draft or post it. You can also add tags and now you can just post it and your post will be posted in the r slash Bitcoin subreddit. So because I made this post about wasting specific number of BTCs, you can actually see on the right side, if you uh, scroll down, you can see the rules of the um, subreddit. So it says over here in this subreddit, you can't post malicious content, no trolling, begging, uh, you can't be repetitive, the primary topic should be Bitcoin, you cannot promote contentious hard forks, you cannot promote ALT coins, you cannot uh, add URL shorteners or referrals, you cannot use faucets and you can definitely not trade. So anything related to numbers of trading, just saying like uh, I spent this much amount of bitcoins, I want this many more or anything like that is to be removed from the subreddit. And that's why maybe my post was not posted because I was talking in numbers of the subreddit. But that is generally how you use reddit.com. And just to wrap it up, I'm going to show you guys, you can change your online status. You can take a look at your own profile. You can add your image, uh, your profile picture or your dashboard picture. You can create a avatar using reddit.com, just like a Snapchat avatar might be. So this is like the basic Reddit logo and you can customize it um, depending on what you want. So we can change the face, the eye color and whatnot. I'm just going to save this and use it as our avatar. And now on the profile section of red.com, you can see your overview, your posts, your comments, posts that you have saved, stuff that has been hidden, stuff that you have upvoted, stuff that you have downvoted, any kinds of awards that you have received, so any Reddit gold or Reddit karma that you have received. And then you have your Reddit awards that you have given to so any Reddit gold that you gave to any other user. You can keep a track of all of this data over here. And that was it for Reddit. I hope you guys found this uh, video useful and I will catch you guys in the next video.